hello guys welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial we will discuss on what is parametric modeling and non-parametric modeling so this uh, difference I'm just giving you as a base for uh, synchronous modeling so when we in future uh, I'm going to start with a synchronous modeling uh, workbench so it is almost similar to uh, the one which we have done in a part modeling so the only difference is in the synchronous modeling you can able to achieve your model uh, very quickly uh, without uh, you know creating a sketches planes and other things so but in uh, usual part modeling you need to have a planes and sketches and then you need to extrude and if you want to create a hole you need to make all the whole parameters so you need to provide and then you need to create a holes but in synchronous modeling it is not like that you can quickly do everything by selecting a faces uh, and uh, it can be you know uh, very useful when you are m making any concept design or uh, if you want to achieve any model in in a very you know in specific uh, um, if you want to achieve anything in a very short time so basically synchronous modeling is useful when uh, suppose if any modeling or any model or any component or any assembly is uh, you know uh, made in uh, purely in some other software when you imp when you import that um, uh, model into uh, an next application so in that manner uh, in that case what happens is you will not be able to see any feature and you will be seeing only one single body so in that case uh, you can you know always redevelop that um, uh, model by taking a reference as a faces uh, but um, that will take a lot of time so in that case uh, the synchronous modeling will come into picture in order to make you a uh, very useful and very uh, quick way to you know achieve your uh, uh, model so now I will just show you what is the difference between parametric modeling and uh, non-parametric modeling so now as you can see here this is a parametric modeling and which I have opened so this is completely parametric and you can see the similar model is over here but this is non-parametric model so how we can be able to make a differentiate between these two so we will just understand now so once you go to non-parametric -par model and if you go into a parameter you know part navigator so now you can see here all your datum planes and all the features are clear clearly visible and if you want to change anything whatever you want here if you want to change any width or any anything if you want to change you can just uh, go into the feature and edit that feature and make your make your uh, model uh, according to your requirement but when it comes to non parametric uh, you know model as you can see here in the model history we cannot see any uh, of the features we don't have any planes we don't have any sketches or any other feature will not be available only there is only one solid body uh, which is available for you and you if you want to modify this uh, that is not possible see because uh, say for example you have a hole here if you want to increase the diameter of the hole uh, you cannot able to edit it edit by using a feature so that is the main difference between a uh, parametric model and a non-parametric model so in non-parametric model you will just have a simple uh, you know solid body or you can have uh, multiple bodies it depends on uh, the uh, the model or assembly you have created by using other applications uh, but in uh, parametric modeling uh, each and everything uh, from base we have all the features over here say for example here there is an edge blend as you can see here there is an edge blend and if you want to change this edge blend you can just uh, you know double click on on this and it will open a pop-up window for editing an edge blend so as you can see here uh, this is an edge blend window so now uh, whatever the radius we have given here is uh, 7.62 so let me reduce it to 5 mm and you can just cl uh, click uh, 5 mm as a radius and you can just click ok so now the radius will be uh, reduced to 5 mm as you can see here this is 5 mm radius now so in that case you can if you want whatever you want you can just you know change uh, the values uh, as per your requirement say for example now what I will do is, is there is a block here so let me double click on a block and uh, as you can see here length is this much and whatever they have given say for example width I was just wanted to make it uh, 250 so let me give 250 and click OK so now uh, the length is increased so whatever the width we have given uh, for a particular model is increased to 250 so in this uh, they like this you can just you know modify the whatever the requirement you have uh, whether it is a hole or whether it is a edge blend or whether it is a extrude or whatever uh, draft anything 
everything but in this non parametric model say for example like we have lost uh, we have uh, the edge blend so in case if you want to change this edge blend into uh, 5 mm uh, we cannot able to do that because we don't have any feature here so that is the main difference so when it comes to non parametric modeling and if you want to edit this kind of uh, models uh, to uh, whatever the requirement you have in that case uh, the synchronous modeling comes into picture as you can see here uh, there are uh, you know commands here uh, synchronous modeling uh, you know group so using these commands we can able to quickly modify this uh, without converting it to a parametric modeling so if you try to come you know come uh, convert this uh, model into a parametric modeling and then if you want to make any changes into this body it will take a lot of time so this is what the difference between parametric modeling and non parametric modeling guys hope you understand so in the next tutorial we will be going into synchronous modeling along with uh, whatever the sheet metal and part modeling examples we are doing so parallelly we will go into uh, synchronous modeling so please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys